So Vishal, let's talk about the pros and cons as far as sectoral funds are concerned. So I think the uh, the biggest advantage is the fact that if you get a thematic or a sectoral decision right in terms of both your entry as well as your exit, uh, it can actually work very well for a portfolio. And you will typically find that uh, you know a lot of this is very well documented, but in hindsight, it's normally quite difficult to capture this upfront before that cycle comes in. Because normally the way people buy thematic or sectoral funds is they buy it on the basis of past performance. The second, uh, you know, advantage in a thematic fund is that very often you will do better off buying a fund doing that same job rather than buying a, buying the stock doing the same job. So what ends up happening very often with themes is that when you like a theme and everyone around you is talking about it, etc., uh, there is a tendency for you to try to identify the best stock in that space. And as an individual investor, it's very difficult to actually do that because you may not have the research, you may not have the capability. There is so much of noise around stock market investing. You don't know you know, what's really going to happen, not happen, etc. So what therefore ends up happening is our thought is that you're still better off in a thematic or a sectoral fund because at least you have a mix of those assets or a mix of those companies rather than just have a single entity. Clearly the con is that you could be getting the timing all wrong. The worst outcome is if you come in at the peak and get out at the bottom. Even with a thematic fund, you can do okay if you're able to stretch your time horizon to a very long period of time. 